at my liquid IV. This sounds a little weird, but that's okay. Let's roll with it. Um, hi, welcome back. I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Today's video is going to be a cruelty-free haul video. So it's stuff that I have purchased or that has been sent to me. And I just wanted to share with, with you a lot of it is new releases. Some of it's not, and it's just things I'm finally getting to trying. Um, but I thought this would be fun because it's been a really long time since I've done one of these. And a lot of these I'm sure, well, they'll either be featured on my Instagram, so you can follow me there at Logical Harmony, or I'll be doing reviews on the blog, logicalharmony.net. So let's get into it because this could easily be a very long video. I tried to like pare down what's included. Also, I'm sorry about the light. I film with natural lighting. I don't always have control over it. So it's doing some weird things. It is what it is. That's fine. So I literally just picked this up from my mailbox. It's the new Sol de Janeiro Asia. Aha, Flora Elastic Cream, and it is meant to be a retin. It has a retinol mimicking oil and plant collagen. Um, I love Sol de Janeiro. I'm in their affiliate program, and you can use code Tashina10 for a discount on any of their stuff. How cute is this? I love Sol de Janeiro yellow. That's like one of my favorite colors. This is adorable. I also love pink. Let's give it a smell. Literally just came right before I filmed this. I was so excited about that because I was like, man, I want it. Want it. Thank you, Sol de Janeiro, for sending it. Oh, that smells so good. I'm trying to place it. All of their scents are great. This literally smells like a perfume I wear often, though, and I cannot place which one it is. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I'm so excited to use this. How cute is this? I love to, like, I love upcycling their packaging. It's really good, like, drawer storage containers. I will recycle the lid, but... I like to keep these because they're cute. I just tap my nails on there a few times. You can tell I've been watching a lot of TikTok ASMR of organization because I'm like into the nail tapping. Anyway, very excited about that. Thank you so much, Sol de Janeiro. I picked up a couple of things from Glow Recipe. So I did pick up their brand new Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Sunscreen. This is SPF 50. I wasn't sure if I was going to get this. And then as soon as I saw Michaela mentioned it on TikTok. I knew if I didn't get it now, who knows when I'd be able to get my hands on it. So I just ordered it immediately. It has really mixed reviews. A lot of people are having trouble with it pilling. A lot of people it's not. I am excited to give it a try. I have not tried it. This literally just arrived today too. So I'm going to be trying it soon. Maybe I'll film like a reel trying it. I want to get into stuff like that. So we'll see. And then I also picked up their Watermelon Glow and Niacinamide nice Eye Dew Drops because everyone talks about this. But also if you don't follow Ash Lipstick Kitty, I love her for skincare. She's so helpful. Um, and she and I like a lot of the same products and she talks about this a ton. So I was like, okay, if Ash is into it, I need to pick it up. So I finally got it. I've tried only a couple of other things from Glow Recipe. I think like, I think literally one thing that they sent me before and I liked it. It was their Hyaluronic, I believe, but I'm really excited to try this one. Picked up the Pacifica Kind Tint, which is their new tinted serum. I wish that this came in more colors. The shade range could definitely be improved on, but I'm excited to give it a try and see how it goes. I got shade 24. What shade is this? I believe I just got the lightest shade. We'll see. The reviews are really good on Ulta. So I wanted to give it a try because I love Pacifica and it's been so exciting to see what they've been coming out with. Ooh, they did send, let me grab them. Pacifica also sent me their two new perfumes. So this one is Sunrise Moon and Neon Moon. Neon Moon smells so good. So initially I wasn't sure how I felt about it. It's a mix of, I think it's Jasmine, Sandalwood, and Toasted Cardamom. And I was expecting it to be a little more floral. So initially I wasn't sure, but I really love this one. It definitely has the Sandalwood and it. it has the Cardamom. It has like a smoky, earthy scent to it. And then this one, Sunrise Moon, I recycled the box, so I forget what the notes are, but it's a very fruity one. I like it. I think it's going to be great for summer, spring, and this packaging is adorable. I feel like Pacifica, I mean, if you've been here, you know I, I grew up with Pacifica. I love Pacifica, and as someone who initially was introduced to the brand when they just made like candles and perfume, this is so exciting to see, like new scents. They're so good. I love Pacifica. Get a load of that little nugget over there. Jupiter sent me their Oasis CBD Calm Drops. They actually sent me their whole line. I've been using these and I've been using the Dreamland ones at night. This is great. I've tried a bunch of different CBD brands and 
This is probably the most effective, at least for me, that I have tried. Um, they do have like a higher dose one that's good for pain. I haven't tried that one yet. And then they also make a pet one that I've given to Juniper and it's definitely helped her. Um, I've given it to the cats and they've all really enjoyed it. I feel like I've seen a difference in their like anxiety type behaviors. They seem calmer, they seem happier, but I really, really like it. I feel like this is great. And the packaging is so so cute like just look at that it's so cute what i also really like about it is that they don't try and like hide the cbd flavor so cbd is from that plant um, i'm not going to say it because of youtube's guidelines regulations it does not contain any thc so it's not like you're going to get high or feel anything like that it's just all the things that help make you feel like more relaxed and things like that definitely check out their site if you want more information too i am not a doctor so make sure that you consult with your doctor before you start taking any sort of supplements do not take the word of someone on youtube i am not qualified to give you that advice i'm just sharing my own experience they include things like lemon balm tulsi lion's heart peppermint and I feel like that just helps the flavor. I really like it. It tastes like herbal tea. It smells like herbal tea. I really, really enjoy it. And the packaging is so freaking cute. The Dream One has definitely helped me sleep. I've talked a lot about on here. I've struggled with insomnia for like years um, where I can maybe fall asleep and I like wake up at 3 a.m. or I have a really hard time falling asleep and then I can't sleep consistently through the night. It has helped so much already. And I've only been using it consistently for like a week and a half. So I'm really excited to see long-term how this impacts me. In Kosas, I picked up their brand new Revealer Skin Improving Foundation. This does have SPF 25. Even if your foundation has SPF, wear SPF anyway. If you need a budget one, Elf Holy Hydration has one in their line that's like $12. It's the cheapest, best sunscreen I've used. Um, I got the shade Light Neutral 140. This has really good reviews, so I'm excited to try it. And then they finally had the cloud set in stock in Breezy, which is the lightest shade. I've been trying to get this for a couple of months. This is like, everyone's been talking about this. It's been all over TikTok. I've heard really, really good things, so I wanted to snag it. And when I saw that they were both in stock, I was like, I'm just gonna place an order. Why not? Elf sent me their Cookies and Dreams collection. Um, I just wanted to talk about the eyeshadow palette. I do have a look with this up on Instagram. It's so pretty, so I wanted to share, and the shadow sticks are really nice. If you're looking for a white shadow stick, they have one in this collection, so be sure to get it. On me, the shades turn purple, not blue, but obviously everyone's undertone is gonna be a little bit different, so that might not be your experience. That said, I think it's so pretty. I wasn't sure that I would like it, but I actually really love this palette. I think it's so, so pretty. The overnight mask, the lip scrub in it, the primer, they smell like Oreos, so can't complain. Anything that smells like Oreos, I'm okay with. I picked up some of the new Super Shock shadows from ColourPop. They launched a bunch of like sheer spring shades. I would swatch them, but I know I'm gonna get glitter everywhere if I do, but I do have a few looks on Instagram using these. They're so pretty. I had not used the Super Shock formula in quite a while. It can be tricky to work with because it's like a buttery, weird, not quite powder, not quite cream consistency. Um, it does definitely apply best with your fingers. I hate using my fingers for eyeshadow, so I like to use a dense flat brush to apply it. And then I use a denser fluffy brush to brush it out, blend it out, that's the word. But I have been using these with like a liquid shadow as a base. And it's been really pretty. I did that with the purple on Instagram the other day. I used a black shadow stick from About Face as the base and then put this over and it was so pretty. Um, they're really sheer on their own, which is nice for like dreamy, ethereal type looks. So I mentioned About Face. They did recently become Logical Harmony approved as cruelty free. I do have a full cruelty free brand list on my website, logicalharmony.net. It'll be linked down below. But when they got approved, I picked up a few things from them. Why not? Um, so I got a few shadow sticks. I got two that are matte, the black and the yellow, and then two that are shimmery, the orange and the green. These are so much fun and they're actually really easy to blend out. Um, Jay Kitsa, she's used these in a lot of different things. She's been in some of their campaigns and done like amazing work with them. So I was super inspired by her when I picked these up. I picked up their Fractal Eye Paint, which is super interesting packaging. This one is like straight glitter. It's so pretty. I really, really like the formula. 
the wand's interesting. The packaging of their stuff is so much fun. And then I picked up two of their matte liquid shadows, which I really liked. They have a nude one that I want, I think maybe for like everyday use for like no makeup makeup looks. But I picked up these two because I thought they were fun. And I think I got these two as a duo as I hold up three things helpful. I think I got these two in a duo. They do have some like sets on their website that can be a little bit more affordable if you want to try stuff out. Um, I'm really liking what I picked up from them. Oh, I got a lip liner too, but I haven't used it yet. So we'll see. And also too, what I, one thing I noticed is signing up for their email updates almost every week. They'd be like, oh, if you place an order over $50 today, you get a free lip pencil. You get a free this, you get a free that. So if you're curious about them, sign up for their email list because I found that super helpful. And they did also give me like a discount code um, for signing up for the emails too. Like obviously the links below are affiliate links and I appreciate when you use them. Um, that helps keep Logical Harmony running, but I also understand that we're all on different budgets and I'm someone where anytime I can get a discount I like to, it definitely helps my money go a little farther. So that's why I wanted to mention that. Um, Habits sent me two different nail polishes. I'm actually wearing did my nails. It's the first time I've ever attempted like any sort of nail art. So I did two coats of each on the tip. Base coat is Nip Slip from Deco Miami, which I freaking love. If you're looking for a good like neutral color, that's a great one. Um, but I thought these were so much fun. So I was like, oh, these are so pretty. I really like the formula of these two. It's, I haven't tried their polishes in years. I love how it's like the perfect, perfectly matches the bottle. So cute. Okay, a few things from Lime Crime. So they had like a big sale on lip products and I picked up a few um, liquid lips like the Velveteens. I know I got Red Velvet. I think I got Wicked. I don't remember. And then the Angel, I think, lip liner, which is my favorite. And then I also got two different of the plushies. I got Cola and Milk Tea, which have been on my like to try list for a long time. And then they just relaunched lipsticks. They sent me all of them. It's a soft touch lipstick. I'm wearing one today. So today I am wearing shade Retro Sunrise. I wore Stellar Pink on Instagram the other day. These are so pretty. I do feel like they put in a lot of like purple shades and I'm not really sure why. I wish they would do like their initial unicorn lipsticks had so many different fun shades, but the formula, phenomenal. It's super pigmented. It feels like I have just lip balm on. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not drying. It's super pigmented. I really, really like these and I like the new packaging. I think it's fun. Yeah, thank you so much Lime Crime for sending these. I'm so excited to see what they come out with this year. Okay, a bunch of NYX stuff was on sale at Ulta. Sorry that the light's changing. Um, and so I picked up a few things. I got their Total Control Pro Drop Foundation, like you probably did. I saw that same TikTok where the person showed their like flawless base makeup routine and they were using this one. It is not the same drop foundation that they used to have. It's something different. So I wanted to pick it up, give it a try. I got the shades Alabaster and Light Porcelain because I really could not tell online what shade I would be. Thought I'd give them a try. I got their Plump Right Back Primer and then the Plump Finish Setting Spray. I was more curious about the primer, but Ulta was doing a deal where if you bought the setting spray, you got the primer half off. So I went ahead and did that because that made sense because I was like, well, what if I really like the primer and then I'm going to want to see what it's like with the setting spray? Because some products, like I do feel like with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, using the Hydro Grip setting spray makes a big difference. I've used it with other setting sprays. It's not quite the same. So I wanted to see if that was the case here. Um, I also picked up their Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This has been sold out freaking everywhere. I got the lightest shade. I forget what shade that is. I do really like the Bear With Me Serum Foundation. It's very, like, it's hardly any coverage, um, but I do really, really like it. And so I wanted to give that a try. And then I ordered their, I think it's the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Powder because I've also seen that on TikTok. I watch a lot of TikTok. Um, so I wanted to give that a try. It hasn't shown up yet, that ships separately. And then I got two of their Sweet Cheeks Soft Cheek Tint Blush. Not that I need more blush. I have an obscene amount of blush, but I was like, you know, give them a try. So I got Nude Tude and Almost Famous because I had just been eyeing them for a long time. And these and a bunch of the NYX stuff was on sale where it was like buy two, get one free. So that was why I picked these up. We'll see. So again, this all just arrived like this just arrived yesterday. So a lot of this, I've not had a chance to use at all. So I do want to share thoughts on them. Again, that might be on Instagram. It might be on the blog, it might show up in videos here. It kind of just depends on what I'm doing. This light is horrible. So I'm going to like wrap this up really quick. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. If you've picked up anything recently, comment, let me know. If you've tried any of this, share your thoughts down below too. 
good, bad, whatever it is, or if there's anything you're like especially interested in hearing about, let me know. Again, it might show up here on YouTube. It's like a demo or a review, but it might show up on the blog, maybe on Instagram. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you next time.